So over here, you can see that I have an animation file right here. So if I were to press play, you can see that this is a simple camera animation. So let's say what I want to do is I want to export an image sequence from frame 40 right here to frame 120. So if I want to do that, uh, what I can do is I can click on the printer like icon right here and it'll open up the dimensions options right here. So right now the resolution is set to 1920 by 1080, but I want to uh, reduce the file size so that I can render this faster. So I'm just going to go around, decrease this to around, click and drag it, decrease this to around 25%. I can also go around right here, type in 25, press enter, and that is how it'll be set. So this will be the final resolution. It'll be exporting it out in. So I want to set the frame start and frame end point. So I'm going to type in 40 to 120 right here. So that'll be the exact range and it'll render out every frame right here. So one frame. You can also do step two and it'll uh, export out only odd frames right here. So here you can enable out different properties as you wish, but I'm going to go around into the output folder and I'm going to go around over here onto desktop, create a new folder right here. So I'm just going to go around right here and then create a new folder. And inside of the new folder, I want the image sequence. So I'm just going to keep it as it is. So I can scroll down and here you can choose the file format. You can select um, video file formats, but in my case, I'm going to select image. For high quality, you can go for Targa Raw or for regular one, I'm just going to go around, select JPEZ right here. Once you select it out, you can select the quality. So I'm just going to go around, type in 80% right here. So type in 80, it'll be exporting out 80% of quality. You can set out metadata for the uh, image files as well and go for other settings if you want to. So this is the settings that I want to uh, export out the image, uh, um, image sequence in. So I'm going to leave it as it is. So now to render the image sequence, I simply need to go to render and click on render animation, not render image, but render animation. Once I do that, what happens is that the render sequence opens up and depending on your computer speed, this might take a while. So I'm just going to go around and fast forward this part uh, because this does take a bit of time. And now it has been completed. So if I were to close this and then close Blender, not go, I'm just going to click on don't save. And over here you can see that the image sequence has been rendered out. And this is what you have. It exported out the image sequence and this is what you have. And this is an image right here. So I'm just going to go to photos. And if I were to go around, press my arrow keys, you can see that these are a range of images. And if you were to play them out together, then they become animation. And now what you can do is you can import this out in any video editing software of your choice and then animate as per your liking. And that is how you can render out image sequence from Blender. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.